as I was talking about valeric acid, what valeric acid is? Valeric acid is pentanoic acid. Valeric acid is common name of pentanoic acid. So it is one and the same thing. Pentanoic acid is its IUPAC name. It's a structure into this. What methanol is? Methanol is formaldehyde. H-C-H-O. Methanol is formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is its common name. Formaldehyde is its common name. This itself is IUPAC name. One carbon, so meth and single bonded, so in and al. So al is CHO, so al. So methanol itself is IUPAC name. This is not IUPAC name, this is common name. So common name we will always be writing there. <coughs> common name will always be writing there in the bracket. Fine? Acroyaldehyde. Acroyaldehyde. C. C double bond C C C H O three carbon atoms and one double bond that is and third carbon atom is a part of the functional group this is what I told you yesterday now so acroyaldehyde iso octane C one branch total eight carbon atoms one two three four five six seven anywhere here 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 any on any carbon atom one C H three will be there. They are on the side shell. This is iso octane. Total 4 plus 3, 7 and 1. 8 carbons are there. IUPC name of this will be 1, 2, 3, sorry, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So on second carbon atom, methyl is there. So 2 methyl, 2 methyl heptane, 2 methyl heptane. This is its IUPC name. And common name is iso -octane. But from common name, you will never come to know whether this CH3 is there on second carbon, third, fourth, or on which carbon it is there. So that's why common name is not so accurate because it will never give you exact position of the group attached, radical attached to the main carbon chain. So from IUPAC only, you will come to know whether it is 2-methylhaptane or 3-methylhaptane or 4-methylhaptane, what it is. Is this all okay, Bita? Okay. <laughs> now, I clear this all so that can get a space to talk about plural. What plural is? Take C and CHO. These three groups attached to the carbon are Cl. This is CCl3, CHO, plural. What this one is? Plural. Now, see what will be its IUPAC name. Are you, are you getting this all, Ojas? Yeah, yeah. It is not so difficult, now. Oh, okay. what, what papers I have forwarded you, you, know, this all is previous years questions only from your all exams, entrance exam, board exams, national boards, international boards, whatever it is. So C, one okay. and two. On second, three CLR there now. So two, 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 trichloro, trichloro ethanol, trichloro ethanol, two, 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 trichloro ethanol. Fine. And sir, uh, why can't the numbering be like uh, one, 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 trichloro ethanol? Yeah, yeah. So for that, I forwarded you notes paper now. In that notes paper, it is written that CHO is more a stronger functional group than Cl. So priority must be given, preference must be given to CHO and not Cl. Oh. In that notes paper, other two folders, na, order of preference of various functional groups are there. Oh. Order of preference of various functional groups are there. And according to that order, CHO is a stronger functional group than Cl. So that order you should know. Otherwise, we'll start counting carbon from here. We'll, we'll start yeah. counting carbon from here and we'll not get the marks. So it won't be one and two. No. CHO is so that order of preference of various function groups we should know. Now, this was chloral. Now, trinitroglycerine. Trinitroglycerine. C. 
glycerin means glycerol glycerin means glycerol glycerin means glycerol means three carbon atom what it is three carbon atom and every carbon will be having every carbon will be having one nitro group one nitro group if it is glycerol then here it will be oh only but what you did, you replaced all the three OH and instead of OH, you wrote nitro. Since parent was okay. glycerin, since parent was glycerol, so that is why it is known as glycerin. But OH are replaced, but OH are replaced by NO2 group. So it is trinitro glycerin. Okay. It is trinitro glycerin. Fine. This is trinitroglycerin. Then sulfuryl ether. This uh, means there is no all these former names. Na, we need to remember. There is no method to uh, IUPAC you can write. But common names you can't write. Means you should mug up all these things. Then only we can write. Sulfuric ether. See what ether is. This is ether. C2H5OC2H5. But what you have written? Sulfuryl ether. So, instead of O, it will be S. Instead of O, it will be, this is ether. This is ether. And this one is sulfuryl ether. Fine. Grain alcohol. What grain alcohol is? C2H5OH. Ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol means grain alcohol. This is common name. What is its IUPAC name? Ethanol. What is its IUPAC name? Ethanol. So grain alcohol is C2H5OH. That is ethyl alcohol. Alcohol. You know na alcohol? Yeah. In general, alcohol means C2H5OH. <clears throat> that is IUPAC name is ethanol. No, that grain was there, no? That's how it... Yeah, from grains, from malt, you can uh, obtain by fermentation this alcohol, na? Yeah. From barley, from malt, we can extract uh, this uh, alcohol. That is why it is called ethyl. Sorry, that is why it is called grain alcohol. Or C2H5 is ethyl and OH is alcohol, ethyl alcohol. IUPC names, two carbons, single bonded, so eth and single bonded, so ane and functional group OH, so all ethanol. Is this okay, Bita? Okay. Now see. Yeah. Hydrogen cyanide. Hydrogen cyanide. What uh, the IUPAC name of the of the functional group? This all we should remember. What CHO is, what OH is, OH is all, CHO is all. What CN is? Nitrile. What CN is? Nitrile. How many carbons are there? One. So methane. Methane. Nitrile. If you are not counting carbon of CN, if you are not counting carbon of CN, then it is cyanide. And what rest is hydrogen. So hydrogen cyanide. This is not IUPC name. This is common name. IUPC name is methane nitrile. When you will be counting carbon of cyanide, then it will be nitrile. And if you won't be counting carbon of CN, then it will be cyanide only. Is this all okay? Not Fine. So this we need to remember, beta means. Uh, no, I uh, can uh, understand. Uh, yeah. P uh, pardon. Tell no, me. Sir. This see uh, one more example. Yeah. One, one more example I will give you so that we can understand it in a better way. CH three CN. If you are not counting this carbon, then this will be cyanide. Mm -hmm. Which cyanide? Methyl okay. cyanide. Okay. But if you will be counting this carbon, then one and two. When you will be counting mm -hmm. carbon of cyanide, they are in longest possible carbon chain, then it will be nitrile. 
how many carbons are there? Two. So eth. And between carbons, single bond is there. So in. And since we have counted this carbon of cyanide there in longest possible carbon chain, so it will be ethane nitrile. <coughs> now, I'll give you one more example so that you can understand this. And from there, I'll come to know whether you have revised this all. If you won't be learning, but it will be very difficult for us to understand. If we learn, then only even after learning, then also so many difficulties we may be facing. But without learning, you can't imagine then how much difficulty we have to face. Now see, if you are not counting this carbon atom, then it will be phenyl cyanide. What C6H5 is phenyl. And since we have not counted carbon of this, so it is phenyl cyanide. Fine. See, oh, just here yeah. I'll come to know whether you have learned all those things or not. What C6H5 C is known? If you'll be counting this carbon, then what will be the name of C6H5 C? As C, C6H5 is phenyl. What will be C6H5 C? Yeah. If you'll be counting carbon of cyanide, there in longest possible carbon chain, then what will be its name? C6H5C or not? Yeah, C6H5C. It will be benzo only. Yesterday only we did this phenyl, benzyl, yeah. benzyl, benzo, benzoyl. But then that was of like the radicals, no? Radical, so this is also radical, na? But then, uh, like the uh, see, if you are taking C six H five, carbon is increasing. If you are taking C six H five, then it is phenyl, hmm. and this will be cyanide. <laughs> but if you count this carbon also, then it will be C six H five C. And what C six H five C is benzo. And when you will be counting carbon of CN, then it will be known as nitrile. So benzo nitrile or phenyl cyanide. Fine, beta. So by yeah. practice only, but then we will... like even here. No, your yeah. voice is breaking. Your voice was so breaking, I... Ojas. Yeah, please tell me. Uh, so, like, either removal hydrogen or uh, if we add uh, carbon, it will yeah, be yeah, a that is that is that is true. But aromatic, na, totally entirely different. This organic radicals, na, aromatic radicals, na, that is totally different. Mm -hmm. Are you getting my point? This aromatic na totally different. Yes. This aromatic is totally different, and by practice only we will come to know about this all. By practice only we will come to know. We'll take time since this all we are doing first time now, so may be difficult. But once you will be practicing this all, then it won't be an issue for you. Okay. So this is what I am trying to tell you. If you will be counting this carbon there, there in the longest possible carbon chain, it will be nitrile. But if you won't be yes. considering that carbon, that CN carbon of CN group there in longest possible, then it will be cyanide. Okay. So these are exceptional. And obviously, okay. ITJW won't be so easy. Now, will be very 99% questions will be exceptions only. So, if you have gone through all such points, then only you can solve such questions. Otherwise, we won't be able to do such questions. Is it so, beta? Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay.
fine now see so just uh, remember all these points and uh, then only now see one more point see here also if you will not be considering this carbon of CWH then in the longest possible carbon chain then what this would be methyl methyl and what this is carboxylic Oil. acid Oil. Car no no this is what I am te te telling you carboxylic methyl carboxylic acid or its common name is acetic acid what is its common name vinegar this was yes. the first this was the first organic compound which we started using this was the first organic compound which we started using egyptians were the one who started using this vinegar to preserve their food to preserve their food yes. now see this is one method now another method in that you will be considering this carbon also there in the longest possible carbon chain then it will be eth because two carbon and between carbon carbon single bond is there so in and now see here you have counted carbon of cwh now yeah so this will be oic acid if you are counting carbon of CWH there in the longest possible carbon chain, then only it will be oic acid. And if you won't be considering that carbon in longest possible, then it will be carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. Uh, sir, which one do we get referring to? Yeah, this is IUPAC name. This is IUPAC. IUPC name can only be one only, but you should know both ways, na. But then, uh, what will be the methyl uh, carboxylic D R? That is common, common name. name. Yeah, that okay. is common name. See, common names can be many. Your mother can call you by different name. Name brother and sisters can call you by different name. Father can call you by different name. Grandparents can call you by different name. So. Common names can be many. But yes. in a school and everywhere, you won't be writing two or three names there now officially. In Aadhaar, in uh, at a school, everywhere it will remain the same. That is IUPAC. IUPAC can only be one. But common names can be multiple, many, many. Okay. Fine? And common okay. name C is more difficult. IUPAC is yeah. easy because their system is there to write their names. But in common names, yeah. common system, there is no system. Everyone will be having their own different name and without any reason, there won't be any reason. Yeah. Should I go to the next one? Yeah. So here I explained you CN and C double OH. When you will be counting this carbon of C double OH, then in longest possible carbon chain, then it will be oic acid. <coughs> and yeah. when you you won't be considering this carbon atom there in C double OH in longest possible carbon chain, then this will be carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. Yeah. The same if you will be counting carbon of C N group there in longest possible carbon chain it will be nitrile. And when you won't be counting this carbon in C and group as long as in longest possible carbon chain, then this cyanide will be known as, this CN will be known as cyanide. And if you'll be counting yeah. this carbon there in longest possible carbon chain, then it will be known as nitrile. Yeah. Is this all okay, Bita? Yes, sir. So, obviously, uh, in this way only, you will be familiar with all these different compounds now. In our yeah. books, all these may be there or may not be there. Okay. So, I, I took all these examples from previous year's question papers so that everything will be covered.
many more may be there there in our books that i am not able to write here so we should do those things too so if it is if if there is such any such question then you should ask me so that we will just get the chance to discuss those questions too should i go to the next one oh. yes sir now this uh, first partner this first part will be little difficult for you to manage second if you'll work hard can get the answer there in second part but in first part most of them them are difficult now see carbolic acid what carbolic acid is for just oh so benzene ring or oh it's yeah phenol this is carbolic acid what this yes. is phenol what is its old spelling spelling phenol this is old spelling its common name will be hydroxy benzene hydroxy benzene c what is its formula c6h5oh what this is phenyl and what this is all so phenyl plus all phenol this is phenyl plus all phenol that is carbolic acid it is antiseptic what it is antiseptic actually it is not antiseptic it is disinfectant it is disinfectant you know what the difference between antiseptic and disinfectant uh not really. detol is antiseptic yeah and phenyl is disinfectant this you can use okay. there on living tissues okay this can't be used there on living tissues okay this can only be used there in non living surfaces okay on your floor table this all their phenyl will be used not detol so this is detol is mild that detol is mild this is strong if you'll be using phenol there on your skin na burning may be there black okay. spot may be there okay is this okay yeah these all are previous years questions beta what's the difference between antiseptic and disinfectant what detol is what phenol is this all okay now see salicylic acid what salicylic acid is c 1 oh and on next carbon atom cfo what this one is salicylaldehyde out of these two which group is a stronger group cho is a stronger yes. so we'll start counting yes. carbon from here 1 2 two hydroxy two hydroxy what this one is what rest is benzyl dehyde two hydroxy benzyl dehyde or when two groups are attached there on the two consecutive carbon atoms then it will be ortho or ortho hydroxy ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde ste one oh and one cho are there on two different carbon atoms so its formula will be c6h4 oh and then cho why you have written here bracket because oh and cho are not bonded directly na yeah so that is why you have written that they are in the bracket so that shows that they are not directly attached they are not directly attached all these points are beta i am just explaining this all because all these points are very important will help you a lot there in doing your this organic part so we 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 need to practice this all before starting our organic chemistry otherwise once it is started then it won't be possible for us to manage reaction 
as well as nomenclature both together. So here you have to work very hard. And even after doing this all, even after learning this all, then also I can't assure you that if tomorrow non-nomenclature related question is there, then we will be getting 100% marks because they can ask you something else too, which is not here and is, is in there in your book. Yeah. So C6H4OHCHO, that is, that is like this. It's like this. This is salicylaldehyde. <clears throat> One, two, two hydroxy. When C, this is one and this is second carbon. On two continuous carbons, two groups are attached. It is called ortho. Are you getting my point, Ojas? Yeah. yeah. If there is one gap, I have said, if there is one gap, see, this is first and this is second and here next is. So, there is one gap. So, that is called meta. And if two gaps are there, if two gaps are there, two carbons gaps are there. One, two, three, four. One is here and one is here. Para. Then it is called para. Then it is yeah. called para. Para <coughs> means one, four. Para means one, four. Meta means one, three. Meta means one, three. Para means one, four. And ortho means one, two. So ortho, meta, para. One, two, one, three, one, four. In ortho, there will not be any gap. In meta, there will be one gap. And in para, there will be two gap. Gap of two carbon atoms. Yeah. Gap of two carbon atoms. Fine, beta? Okay. So these all are the points which we will be using tomorrow. They are in our different chapters. So now salicylaldehyde is over. Yeah. Now see okay. here you are talking about salicylaldehyde. So I will explain you salicylic acid also. One carbon OH and next carbon C double OH. One, two, two hydroxy. What? Two hydroxy. Or you can say para. Para or 2-hydroxy. Para or 2-hydroxy. Now what rest is? Rest is benzoic acid. Yeah. There it was benzaldehyde. Here it is benzoic acid. So that is, that is also, that is, sorry, sorry, sorry. You have not said anything, man. I wrote here para. But 1 and 2, 1 and 2 is what? Ortho. Uh, ortho. ortho. Fine. So it was ortho or 2 hydroxy benzoic acid. That is called salicylic acid. What it is called? Salicylic acid. What is its former name? Salicylic acid. Here it was salicyl here it was salicyldehyde. Here it was salicyldehyde. This was salicyldehyde. And this is salicylic acid. So they asked you salicylic acid, no? so answer will be this. This is salicyldehyde. This is salicyldehyde or 2-hydroxy or orthohydroxy benzaldehyde. 2-hydroxy or orthohydroxy benzaldehyde, that is salicyldehyde. And 2-hydroxy or orthobenzoic acid, that is called salicylic acid. That's here. That's here. Okay. So we should okay. know salicyldehyde, salicylic acid, both. But OH and CHO or CWH must be there at ortho position. Then only it will be salicylic acid. Then only it will be salicylic acid. Fine? Okay. Should I clear yeah. this all? Okay. Now see. Um, uh, what... One thing, so. Yeah. Like now, uh, in the salicylic, no, this only uh, salicylic acid. Yeah. There was a OH on the benzene ring, right? Yeah. So, uh, like, with the benzene ring, it will be called uh, hydroxy, right? And yeah. not... I, uh, I, I, I got the point. I'll... This you are talking about. Yeah. This will be 3 or oh, meta. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fine. Just a minute. This? No, no, like the same alcohol in which yeah. instead of this female but on like uh, when we write the name on third carbonatum I mean, this on the, is on the first one yeah but like uh, why don't we write all instead of like hydroxy that I am asking oh fine so see this is what I explained to you mamma is varma papa is sharma you can't yeah. write Rajesh Varma Sharma. Na. Suffix can only be one. Na. Yeah. All is suffix. And it is also suffix. So can't, two, can't use two suffix. Na. I'll 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 okay. show you. I'll show you. <laughs> Can you see Ojas? Yeah. Now see here. Now see here. Alcohol and carboxylic acid. When this one is either of the two can be suffix. If since this is a strong, so this will be the suffix. Okay. Then this can't be suffix now. Okay. Rest all will be prefixes. All will be prefixes. Okay. Whatever groups are there. So this is what I forwarded you all these notes paper so that you have to learn this all and then only even after learning this all, then too, we may be facing a lot of difficulties. And by practice only, we can overcome all such difficulties. Oh. Fine, yeah. beta. So this all means all these uh, three folders, you must be very, very strong in all these folders. Then only we can understand nomenclature. See, one oh. more point. More you will speak, more I'll be there in position to your mind and accordingly can help you. And accordingly can help you. Now see here, which is the strongest functional group? Sulfonic acid. What sulfonic acid is? SO3H. So will always be suffix only. And the second strongest functional group is carboxylic acid. And prefix will be carboxy and suffix will be oic acid. Okay. Now, aldehyde. If aldehyde prefixes are there, then alkanoil and suffixes will be al only. Yeah. See these hello. There you are talking about now. Why not one, one, one hello? Why we started counting carbons from OH? Sorry, from CHO, from yes. CHO, from CHO, Al. Because Al is very strong and Hello is very weak. Hello, Nitro, Alkyl, Aryl, all these are very, very weak groups. Okay. 
and they can only be used as prefixes only. These can never be used as suffixes. These can never be used as suffixes. Can only be used as prefixes. Oh. Is this all okay, Vita? Oh. Yes. So, you have to practice a lot all these things. Then only we can have. So, let's see. Tomorrow may not be. Class won't be there. If it is there, then fine. And uh, you should be well ready so that... Uh, uh, you can understand whatever I'll be teaching. Otherwise, we'll be taking classes and then you won't be able to finish there at home. Then you will get frustrated there now. You'll get irritated that because you won't be able to do questions now. Then we may be having negative thoughts. Fine. So you should learn this one. Yeah. And chemistry beta, never reading. Always writing. Yeah. Just read this all and then close your notebook this notes paper and then start writing. Yeah. Then only we will come to know whether this all is over or not. Never do chemistry there in write, writing. Never there while reading at home and when writing exam, then do. Never oral. Always writing. Should I go to the next one? Yes, sir. Now, since I have opened this, so we'll tell you this all. C. C. Trivial means uh, the common name and IUPAC means scientific name. Okay. Fine. C. How many carbons yeah. you have written? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So normal straight chain. Na? So normal pentyl. Straight chain. Na? Sir, which so one normal. Are huh? Which one are you talking about? Yeah, this one. Okay. This folder I have already forwarded you there in WhatsApp, na? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. So, right now I am in actually Hyderabad and uh, my workplace is Davangiri, Karnataka. There your voice was very clear. There, although it's a very small city, but there uh, your voice was very clear and right now your voice is not so clear. So that's why I'm taking time to understand what you are asking me. So trivial name is what normal pen type. Huh? Can I type it if you are uh, No, no, no issue. No issue. If it yeah. will be difficult, then we'll tell you to write or whatever. Okay. Okay. Now see. So what is trivial? Trivial names means common names. Trivial names means Common names. 